I'm Davis together with Rick Dempsey and joined now by Mike Devereaux. You saw that great catch he made opening day, April the 6th, 1992. Memories of that, that catch, I mean, that you made up against the wall. Yes, yes, that was that's definitely great memories. Uh, you know, being here at Kevin Yards also, seeing it again, being back from such a long time back, it's, it's, it's just great. I love it here. Now, the Orioles acquired you from the Los Angeles Dodgers when they were trying to come off that horrible 88 season and they, they went more of a, a youthful tone to the outfield there. Yes. What are your memories of that 89 season? With, with what? Well, <laughs> the why not year. I mean, yeah. that, that, that season, I mean, we had the youngest team in all of baseball that year. And also we had the best defense in all of baseball. And I think that's uh, kind of what helped us out. And uh, to be a rookie, to have that being my rookie season and to go almost the entire way, you know, to the last three games of the season, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, it was just tremendous to be able to uh, to have a season like that as far as the team was concerned and, and the crowd at Memorial Stadium and, you know, over 35,000 every day. It was, it was incredible. Mike, you know, uh, this organization has always been known for having good defensive center fielders, and you showed that on opening day by making a great play. But everybody considered you a good defensive guy. We have Adam Jones out there now, and now Adam Jones has been convinced that he needed to move back a little bit because the ball's a little bit different from the ones that you had to play with. But I noticed that you got back on a full sprint. You played center field shadow like Adam Jones was playing center field the last couple of years. Yes, I mean, I, I like to try to, to challenge the hitters, and... Uh... Uh, obviously, when the big guys are up, I try to move back, but I, I, nothing to me was worse than letting the ball fall in, in, in front of me. So I kind of like to challenge him and, and also give myself a chance to get back to the wall. And, and uh, once you start going back, you have, to, you, know, you have to go full speed. You, know? you, can't, you can't just kind of lollygag after the ball. You have to, you have to really... Um, you have to really go hard at it. Too. Was it hard then to play defense in center field at this stadium at the very beginning in 92? I, I, I mean, I love the stadium. I, you know, I, don't, I, I can't say it was hard. Um, I mean, you're playing in front of a full crowd. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, the, you could hear the crowd roar when you make good catches. And I, I just loved the Great stadium. Now, Mike, there was a memorable home run you hit at Memorial Stadium against the Angels. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk to you about, a little bit about the whole whole thing. I mean, there was a little bit of controversy whether it was fair or foul that gave the Orioles a win 11 tonight. But how about the next day when Doug Rader got thrown out at the <laughs> plate, the manager for the Angels? He was ejected before the game even started. Yeah, he wasn't He wasn't too happy. <laughs> and I, I, I get asked that question a lot. Was it fair or foul? And I'm like, like well, it was fair. I mean, check, check the books. I mean, uh, of course it was fair. But that was that was exciting. I mean, here I was a rookie, awful. I was 89 year, and uh, and to be in the situation to uh, to have a walk off and and, and such a, a game that was going back and forth, and uh, you know the crowd was in it. There was almost almost 50,000 people there, and wow. and uh, just to hit that home run. I mean, that was definitely uh, one of the highlights of of my career. Did that top the situation when you were with Atlanta and put them into the World Series with a home run you hit in the playoffs? <laughs> oh, no, that was funny. It's funny about that because I wouldn't have even have played that night if David Justice didn't get hurt because uh, he got hit by a, a foul ball during batting practice which allowed me the chance to uh, to play in that game. And I mean, if you don't have the opportunity, you can't, you can't make you know good of it. So I had the opportunity and uh, uh, runners were on base and... As, as off of Mike Jackson, who I did not hit very well, you know, my career, and uh, he got a ball up in the zone, and uh, I got it. How about the, the ring, the World Series ring? I mean, that, how important was that? To, I'm the, looking at it, too. Yeah. I'm going, where's that from? I totally forgot he had won a World Series with the Atlanta Braves. That was, yeah. That's amazing. Yes, and I was with Not you quite as fat as the Oreo ring, uh, but no, no. maybe a little more girth no, to it. Right, right, right. <laughs> and what about you in, uh, in 88? I was an alternate to that on that team. I know it. Yeah. I know it. That was, well, so. the Dodger ring was pretty good, too. You know, <laughs> the big old diamond in the middle. Of, right. Yeah. Well, Mike, Any we World Series ring is a good ring to wear. I don't care who it is. <laughs> Mike, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us for a little bit. Uh, Mike Devereaux, who Thank played you. center field for the Orioles back in the uh, late 80s or early 90s and actually had two tours of duty here with the Orioles. That